hey guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me my name is janet today i'm going to take you through giorgio armani armani is a luxury fashion house based in italy founded by giorgio armani who is now worth 9.5 billion dollars Giorgio Armani was born on July 11th in 1934 in Piacenza, Italy. Armani grew up in a small town outside of Milan. His father was a shipping manager. It was a difficult time in Italian history when Giorgio was born. Giorgio and his two siblings, his older brother Sergio and younger sister Rosanna, experienced the hardships of World War II firsthand. Some of his friends were killed during the Allied bombings. At an early age, Giorgio developed an interest in anatomy. His fascination with the human form led to two years of medical school, but later he took a break and had to complete his required military service. After completing his military service, Amani dropped out of university and went to work at La Rinascente, a famous Milan department store. He then joined the staff of Nino Ceruti as a designer with the encouragement of his friend Sergio Galotti. Amani started to do freelance design and work for other companies as well. Armani and Galotti became business partners, founding Giorgio Armani in July 1975. The company's first collection, A Man's Clothing, debuted that year. Amani launched a women's collection the following year, which received a warm reception. His clothes were revolutionary at the time, introducing a more natural, natural fit and using a subtle color palette. While his designs were popular in Europe, Amani didn't make a big splash until 1980. In 1980, his clothes were worn by actor Richard Gere in the film in the film American Gigolo, which helped generate a lot of interest in Armani. He also provided much of the wardrobe for the hit television series Miami Vice. In 1984 to 1989, starring Don Johnson. Later, many top Hollywood stars started wearing Armani on the red carpet including Michelle Pfeiffer, Jodie Foster, and John Travolta, among others. During the 1980s, wearing a money became a symbol of success for many business professionals. They sought out the brand's power suits with high demand. Amani and Galeotti were able to grow the business, opening up Amani stores in Milan. Amani, however, suffered a great personal and professional loss in 1985 when he lost his longtime friend and business partner, Galeotti. People thought the business might suffer after Galeotti's death, but Amani showed the world that he was just as talented as an executive as he was a designer. Amani expanded his operations, opening his first restaurant in 1989. He also bought clothing manufacturers, manufacturers, cement, and shares in other businesses. In the late 1990s, Amani had over 200 stores worldwide and annual sales of roughly $2 billion. His company continued to add to its products offerings and expanding into the home goods market and book publishing. In 2005, Amani debuted his first hot, hot culture line. He launched his high-end adventure because he liked the challenge. Today, Amani's brand can be found in major stores around the world, along with 500 exclusive retail stores. By 2001, Amani was acclaimed as the most successful designer of, of Italian origin, and is credited with pioneering red carpet fashion. Hotels have become Amani's latest venture. In, 2008, in 2010, he opened the Amani Hotel in Burj Khalifa in Dubai, 
the world's tallest building. In 2011, he opened another hotel in Milan. With more than three decades in the business, Amani has enjoyed a longevity as a designer. Some compare him to great fashion icons like Coco Chanel, Yves Saint Laurent, and many others. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this, this and thank you so much for subscribing. Kindly remember to give this video a, th a thumbs up and share. Till, till next time, bye-bye.